one question that comes up regularly, and that is, should I wear ESD footwear, or should I wear electrical hazard footwear? The two footwears, they're both electrical related, but they do completely different jobs. So let's start with ESD. ESD footwear, as you'll see here, it comes with an ESD symbol, and this is designed for electrostatic discharge. So it means that it discharges any static buildup on the person, immediately it discharges it to earth. ESD footwear is used purely when you're working with electrical sensitive components such as microchips, um, electronic devices such as mobile phones, etc. When in the manufacture process, the slightest bit of static discharge that goes into the component can ruin it completely. The last thing you want to be having is a whole lot of microchips going into the marketplace that don't work because they've been destroyed by a slight bit of static charge going into the component itself. So in that case, you wear ESD footwear, and then that means that then the, any static buildup is dissipated straight through the footwear itself into the floor. So it means you're completely free of static the whole time you're wearing that footwear. It's also used in really, really high explosive atmospheres. So when there's a really, really high chance of explosion through chemicals, fertilizers, petroleum gases, etc., when it could cause, any static charge could cause a really large explosion that's detrimental. So ESD footwear, electrostatic discharge, removing any trace of static within the garments that have been worn. It must also be coupled with anti-static garments and ideally ESD garments. They've got a slightly higher threshold anti-static garments where they're removing that static out of the body and earthing it. Electrical hazard on the other hand is a completely different thing. Electrical hazard is designed to insulate the wearer from any electrical um, charges that the body may come into contact with. So it's making sure it's kind of like standing on an insulated matting. So rather than have to have insulated matting on the floor and then you just stand on that before you carry out any electrical duties, you've actually got electrical hazard boots, they are insulating up to 18,000 volts and they'll insulate you in the event that you do come into contact with live electricity. So electrical hazard for insulation only to be used by workers who are working on electrical equipment where there is a, con a risk of contact with live electricity. It means then, like you wear rubber gloves, to stop you um, getting electric shock, the electrical hazard is then becomes a secondary solution to protecting you from any current passing through your body. Electrostatic discharge is a really, really highly conductive soul, so electrical hazard, insulating, ESD, electrostatic discharge, is for conducting electricity. So two completely different things, conducting, insulating. When you work on electrical equipment, remember, insulated footwear, electrical hazard footwear, when you're working on sensitive electrical components or really, really high exposed atmospheres, ESD footwear. Make sure you get the right footwear and stay safe.